Hello friends, this video on integrals part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 28. Let's check one more example. Here if you see this is sin x, sin x and this is cos x dx. One thing you can also observe is if I take sin x is equal to t, my uh, I get cos x dx as dt. So this guy can write as dt, right? And this guy can write as 1 minus t into 2 minus t. And this kind of equation is easy to solve because I can write 1 minus t into 1 minus 2 minus t as a by 1 minus t plus b by 2 minus t. Correct? And if you solve this also, you get a as 1 and b as minus 1. So this guy you can write as nothing but 1 minus t dt minus integration of 1 by 2 minus t dt. And this is nothing but log of 1 minus t into definition of minus t as minus 1 minus log of 2 minus t the integration of minus t is minus 1 plus 1 plus cos t and that is nothing but log of 2 minus t by 1 minus t plus constant and t was nothing but my sin x so I can say log of 2 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x plus cos t. See how I found the value of a and b you can just I just kept it because it's very easy to find but if you want you can do that I can show you 1 minus t into 2 minus t this becomes a into 2 minus t plus b into 1 minus t correct and this is nothing but 1 by 1 minus t into 2 minus t but I'll do I'll put t is equal to 2 so I get b into minus 1 is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 1 I put t is equal to 1 in this equation I get a into 2 minus t is 1 is equal to 1 or I get a is equal to 1 so that's how I found the value of a and b right so once I have the value of a and b I converted this guy into this simpler form and got the answer let's take this tricky question if you see this here is the power of 4 here is the power of 4 so I can convert it in simpler form by dividing this by this. So if you see this is nothing but x to the power 4 plus 3x square 4 plus 3x square plus 4x square plus 12. And this guy is nothing but x square plus x square 4 plus 2x square plus 1 into x square is x square plus 2. So here I have x if you see here I have x to the power 4 plus 7x square plus 12. Here I have x to the power 4 plus 3x square plus 12. Correct? Plus 2 actually. To make it 7x square, let's add 4x square and subtract 4x square. So to make it 12, let's add 10 and subtract 10. So if you take these guys and these guys combine what you get here is I'll show you what you get is x square plus 3x square plus 4x square this guy and this guy you had here right it becomes 7x square plus 2 plus 10 is 12 minus 4x square plus 10 right because minus sign is here this guy by x square plus 7x square plus 12 by x4 plus 7x square plus 12. So if you see this guy is nothing but 1 minus 4x square plus 10 by and this guy is nothing but x square plus 3 into x square plus 4. Correct. Now this guy, the whole thing, I can write in this form. See, this guy is not differentiable. This guy is not differentiable. I can write this guy in this form because this integration is very simple, right? Integration of one is very simple. I'll take this part now. 4x4 to the power 10 by x cubed plus 3 by 
x square plus 4 I can write as ax plus bx square plus 3 plus cx plus d x square plus 4. That is what I can write. Now if you solve this, if you solve this now, same thing you just solve it, you will get a is equal to 0, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to 0, d is equal to 6. So if you're having issues in solving this, you can watch my past videos where we have explained how to solve this and get the value of a, b and c. Thus I can say that my whole equation, this guy x square plus 2 by x square plus 3 into x square plus 4 is converted into integration of 1 minus a is 0, 0, x plus b that is minus 2, 1 minus, I can say minus, minus 2 by x square plus 3 plus c is 0, x plus d, d is 6 by x square plus 4, right? And the whole thing dot this. And if you see solving this, this is very simple. This guy is nothing but I'll show you. Integration of 1 dot dx minus 2 integration of x1 sorry, dx by x square plus 3 plus 6 integration of dx by x square plus 4. And this is nothing but root 3 square. Why? Because x square plus k square form is I know formula. And this is nothing but x. This becomes this becomes plus actually plus. This becomes minus. This minus minus plus plus minus minus plus 2 tan inverse x by k is x by root 3 minus 6 tan inverse x by 2. Why? Because 4 is nothing but 2 square and plus constant and that is my answer. So if you see such a complex thing converted into a simpler form. Correct? This is actually x by a so this becomes 2 by root 3 and 6 by 2. That is my answer. Such a complex equation converted to simpler form using what? Partial fractions. Let's take one last problem on the partial fraction. 1 by e to the power x minus 1. How to solve this question? I don't know. I don't have any clue. It is not of the form a by b form also. What can I do? Let's try something. So in this case, let's let's suppose e to the bar x equal to t. I get e to the bar x dx as dt, or dx is nothing but dt by e to the bar x. So this becomes dt by e to the bar x e to the bar x minus one, and that is nothing but e to the bar x will be t and t minus one. So if you see this form, I know how to find. This I can write as a. This I can write as integration of or I'll write short here 1 by t into t minus 1 I have to write a by t plus b by t minus 1. So if you solve this you get a as minus 1 and b as 1. So this becomes minus 1 by t plus 1 by t minus 1. The whole thing is dt and there is nothing but minus t dt plus 1 by t minus 1 dt. This is nothing but minus log t plus log t minus 1. Correct. Plus constant. And that is nothing but log of t minus 1 by t plus some constant. And t is what? e to the power x. So this is nothing but e to the power x minus 1 by t minus 1. And that is minus. So what do you have done? See, we have applied a Critical logic here. We assume this guy as t because we we are not uh, we are not having any clue how to solve this. So we just assume the bar x is equal to t, and then we got this kind of form. And this kind of form, I know I got the confidence. Yes, I can solve this question because this kind of form I know how to solve by writing this guy as a by t and b by t minus one, solving a and b, and getting this kind of equations and solving them. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to 
watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.